Hello Internet, it is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today I'm going to be talking about the outfit. So as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So let's get to it. Pros. Uh, I mean, the cast here is recognizable, at least a decent amount of them. I mean, our main man here, Mark Rylance, you know, he's been in quite a few movies. Like, he's collaborated with Spielberg a few times. With his movies being, you know, Bridge of Spies, BFG, where he was the BFG, and Ready Player One. He was also in Dunkirk as well. And... Oh, he was in Don't Look Up? Oh, well, all right. <laughs> Forgot he was in that movie. So many people were in Don't Look Up. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep. Crazy cast for that movie. Anywho. Yeah, so there's him. There's also uh, Dylan O'Brien from you know, Maze Runner fame. And I believe Teen Wolf fame as well. You know, that whole show that I've never seen. But I know it has many, many fans. <laughs> I know that. Um, so yeah, he's obviously recognizable. And the last recognizable person here is like Zoe Dutch. Mainly because of Zombieland uh, Double Tap. She was like, actually I haven't seen Zombieland 2. I should. I've heard it's pretty good. I don't know if it's better than the original. I doubt it is. But she played like a new character in the movie. like Almost like the dumb blonde type with her character but apparently her character is like a lot more than that but again i haven't seen the movie this is just what i'm getting from like trailers and stuff but she's a recognizable face at least for me she is so the cast is recognizable enough i'm not not draws or anything but they're at least recognizable to where you see them and like hey i know that actor <laughs> so yeah, I would consider that a well relative pro. Not a strong pro, but a relative pro. Uh, What else? Pro number two. Reviews for this movie are very strong, actually. Like in the high 90s or mid 90s, I think, on Rotten Tomatoes. So how on earth is that a negative? <laughs> so I would consider that an easy pro. G great reviews. Another pro is lack of real direct competition, I guess. I mean, the Batman, sure, ba Batman's making a lot of money, but it's like three weeks old at this point, so it's cl now classified as old news. And there hasn't been a movie, you know, released in theaters since the Batman. So, and plus every other movie out is like weeks, even months old in the case of Spider-Man. So... That'll definitely help the outfit stand out a little bit. <laughs> well, a little bit more than it would have if it came out in a more normal time, but whatever. But yeah, I think lack of direct competition will help this movie. And yeah, that's pro number three. Um, I can't think of any other pros at all. <laughs> all right, so cons. That's a little easier. To me, the biggest cons are that this movie has had no real marketing. I haven't seen a single YouTube ad for this at all. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I've seen ads for X. I've seen ads for Morbius. I've seen ads. Yeah, mainly those two, Morbius. I'm seeing a lot of Morbius ads recently. But... Yeah, no ads for this. I haven't seen a single ad, so that's a red flag for me. And no one's really talking about it at all. It's not getting like any advanced buzz like some other movies would. And yeah, no one seems like no one really cares about it. And that's very bad. So that's an obvious con right there. Just lack of publicity, lack of people caring. So that's con number one. Con number two uh is that this movie it feels like it's aimed more towards an older ish demographic but here's the problem that older ish demographic they're they're not around <laughs> for the movies they don't want to show up to see movies there's 
more than enough evidence to support that that they they just don't want to show up and like the primary demographic right now for movies is males between the ages of 18 and 34 that is the big money demographic and that demographic has come out in full force many times in the past few months particularly with spider-man and the batman but when it comes to like other movies like this the audience is just not there they're not gonna show up to see this so yeah, I consider that a bad thing, you know, this being a bit more aimed towards, towards an older demographic is bad, judging by recent history. So I would consider that a con, just the demographic this movie's going after, just not one to show up to the theater. So that's a con right there. Another con I can think of is that... Well, I guess this movie doesn't have a super wide release. It's like barely in like 1300 theaters, which is not a lot. I mean, freaking Jujutsu Kaisen Zero is in more theaters. X is in a lot more theaters than this. <laughs> and yeah, like lack of theaters is obviously going to hurt. So I would consider that an easy pro right there. A con, an easy con right there. Just lack of theaters and we already saw well i was about to say studio 666 but that was released in even more theaters than this and that movie still flopped so granted you could say movie theater counts don't really mean much but usually it's better to have your movie in more locations because you have a better chance of making money and this movie didn't do that so yeah lack of a theater count or a lackluster theater count is definitely a con here. So that's con number three. Are there any other cons I can think of when it comes to this movie? Um, I mean, competition after this is going to get a little extreme, not because it shares the same genre, but because it just looks a lot more interesting. I mean, the next few weeks we got, lost city we got morbius we got sonic 2 we got fantastic beasts 3 just back to back to back to back and the more movies that come out the more movies like this are just gonna get shafted just pushed to the back or just taken out of theaters entirely so that's a bad thing definitely so i would consider that a con just competition coming up that's likely going to push this movie out of theaters. So, yeah. Um, I think that's it. So, opening weekend, I'm not... I'm not expecting great things from this at all. I'm going to have a prediction. I think my opening weekend prediction is going to be between $1 and $3 million. And then total might be between four and six that's what i'm guessing i wouldn't be surprised if it did worse than that and yeah that's it and then no one will ever talk about it ever again so yeah so that's the outfit okay we got we got two more movies to talk about this weekend we got ama and then we got x so yeah i'm gonna talk about those next and yeah so anyway yeah that's it that's all make sure to subscribe like this video leave a comment turn on notifications share the whole drill want to check out more videos like this i got playlists on the home page with all previous prediction videos i made this year if you want to watch any of the other ones i made in prior years go to the playlist tab you should find them with relative ease uh there's also the canceled series where i go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't uh, none of the movies here coming out this weekend I've ever mentioned in the can in canceled. So, just wanted to tell you all that. Uh, but for all the canceled episodes I have made, there's like 112 now. <laughs> Most recent one was with all the DC delays, and that was a wild ride. <laughs> so if you want to watch that or any other canceled episodes, and 
ideally in chronological order, because it's now been over two years, two damn years since I started that series. So there's two years of content right there you can watch just to see how things have changed, how they've evolved. I imagine it'd be quite fascinating. So go do that. There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results for any particular month. March recap will come out. First week of April, in between Morbius and Sonic 2 and Ambulance. So in between those three releases, that March video will be uploaded. So stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past uh, recap videos I've done, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.